Okay, this is very serious, and I want to just donate this stuff. I did all the research. It's done. I can stand behind it. I have CAT scans from the fingertips and so forth, the smaller parts. Like, that's a fingertip. <laughs> that's a smaller part. <laughs> I have much bigger than that from actual humans. And I, we can extract blood from them. Very simple. There's a ton of blood in these fingers. But you got to get down inside of them. you got to drill into them. There's, this is a lung. And here's, the, here's lungs that have actual blood leaking out of them. There's one right there. Any, any, any doctor... Well, no, that's a lung. These are alveoli. These are the alveoli. And inside those alveoli, blood circulate and pick up oxygen. When they died, they just died. Now, the blood remained in them, in, in most of them, still, this, this, this is saturated with blood. Literally saturated. You see that? That's just literally leaking blood out of there. You scrape that away, drill into there, and you got raw blood, which I did somewhere over in here long, long ago and sent it off to the lab. This was tested, this was tested, and another bigger one was tested. And then we have stuff like this. These are feet that nobody can explain. Now, the, the university system in, in the United States, anywhere I can't find anybody that's interested whatsoever in examining this. They refuse to examine it. So I'm asking the indigenous peoples, which this relates to. This is from Middletown, Connecticut. These are people that had ancestors here. This is part of their heritage. Who, who, were they related to these giants? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't want this crazy DNA being let loose on the world. That's why I wanted only the mitochondrial DNA to be tested, to just see, was this human? And yes, they, this was human, this was human, and the other bigger one was human. And I have more than the, just this fingertip. And like I said, they were CAT scan. Here's the whole hand, right? There. Here's the whole hand. And that right there is the tendon that runs right down. If you take your left hand and lay it back like there, you're going to have a tendon that runs right down there. That little cut is the cleave between your two pads. That's where the thumb runs off and the little finger goes here. It's missing most of the bones up to here. But I have some knuckles and fingertips and, and I have other parts to this same creature. It's all here on the same property. So what I want to do is um, have somebody open up a museum or add to someone's museum. They're supposedly looking for all of this stuff from um, oops, <coughs> Connecticut State Library. They're, they're interested in this and research and collections and all that. And this is the East Hampton. At one time this was called uh, Chatham, I think it was. Yeah, Chatham Historical Society Museum is jam-packed with historic artifacts. I'm sure they'd love to see this. This is the same region. Now, it's, it's kind of a small place, but um, I don't know if they could take this stuff or not. I don't know what to do. I, I just want to have somebody not throw this in back in the woods. All right, And, and I would think that the... Native Americans are the only ones I can turn to right now. It's not going to happen through the university system. They are absolutely not interested. You see this? This was very, very, very detailed test. Well, the first one done that I know of in the world on ancient humans, and the first one obviously to indicate ancient humans were giants. Homo sapien mitochondrial B gene and D loop region in, in, these, in all these samples. And this, this, was not, this was not cheap, and it was not quick, and it was by a certified lab, lab director, Helix Biolabs, and Tom says he stands by his test. The, I extracted the DNA from it, drilled into these things, sent it off to him. That's what he tested. And he says, yes, absolutely, what I tested was what is in this report. That's, and this is going to be online. I'll have a link to this report. And I will make all my research available to anybody that has an indigenous interest in this. I'm basically done with the university system. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's off the table now. So if you have an indigenous interest, that's the people I want to talk to.